What's going on YouTube? This is Ultima I Device Vids, and this is Tweak Recap, and let's get right into it. So, the number one tweak I'm going to be showing you guys today, the first tweak I'm going to be showing you is Grabber App 8. It's available in Cydia for free, and this tweak will allow you to add an extra grabber to the lock screen. So, of course, normally in iOS, you have this camera grabber, and of course, you could slide it up to open up the camera application. As you can see, you have the ability to add another application. That's the settings app right here. And of course, it works the same way. You just slide up, enter your password, and it will open up the application. Now, some of you may have already noticed this, but normally in iOS, of course, the camera grabber does not require a password. As you can see right here, I can just open it and it opens right up. I don't need to enter my passcode, even though I do have one on my device. And obviously for the application that you set there, it's going to require a password because obviously it's iOS is not, or this tweak will not allow you to open up an app without a password. That's just insecure. However, of course, the normal camera grabber, just like normally in iOS, as you can see, it's going to open up without a passcode. However, you do also have the ability to change the function of this button over here. So not only can you add an app using this tweak to the lock screen here, you could also change the function of this button over here and you can make that open up an application if you want. And all what I'm talking about here, you could configure it through the settings application. So you could go in there and just scroll down until you do see the uh, tweak, uh, grabber app eight, go in there. And of course, make sure the tweak's enabled. And here you go, you have the ability to change, of course, as I said earlier, the left grabber, which is the application over on the side, on the left side, or you could actually change the right side, which is originally the camera grabber. So you could toggle these switches on and off independently. So if you just want one or the other. Now, of course, normally in iOS, the camera grabber section over on the uh, right side is set to uh, camera, of course, but you could change it as you can see here to any application, which is what I was talking about. Let's change it to messages. And of course, the left app, as I uh, showed you earlier, that's set to settings, but again, you could check anything off. There you go. Of course, scroll through all the apps on your device and make sure you select Respring to apply all your changes. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And as you can see here, it doesn't really look any different. And unfortunately, something that's weird about this tweak is even though I reassigned the camera button to open up the messages app, it doesn't change to the mess messages icon like the other side does. So if I slide up on it, as you can see, it's going to ask for the password. And once I actually do enter it, as you can see, it's going to open up the messages app, of course. But as I mentioned, it's not going to change the icon for some reason. I'm not really sure why it doesn't do that. But, but of course, it does do it for the other side, but not obviously the camera grabber so that's something that could be improved upon but it's a very good tweak i actually i'm really a fan of this one it's just such a good idea being able to change those uh grabbers and add a new one very subtle and very nice once again it's called grabber app 8 it's available in cydia for free and the next tweak i'm going to be showing you guys is called keyboard echo this one's available in cydia for free and this tweak will allow you to cycle between your keyboards in a very easy fashion so if you're somebody who has a ton of keyboards maybe you speak a lot of languages as you can see right here i have a bunch of keyboards added however you're generally switching between the first two i mean that makes sense for me it's <laughs> english and emoji um but if you have several other keyboards maybe you just want to switch between the first two for example for me again it's english and emoji but occasionally of course i want to have these so you know i can still use them just by tapping and holding and selecting them but again i'm not usually using them so what this week allows you to do is when you single tap the little globe icon there all it's going to do is it's going to continuously cycle between the first two as opposed to cycling through all of them which for uh, most people can be kind of pointless um, and as you can see right here, I could just continue tapping on this. And it's just going to select between the first two. But of course, if I wanted to select another, I just tap and hold and I could click on any of the other ones. And of course, they'll load right up. And it's a very simple tweak, but it just makes the iOS experience a lot better for somebody who has multiple keyboards. Personally, I only have uh, emoji in English, but... Again, if somebody out there had spoke a lot of languages, used a lot of these, I could see this being extremely useful. Once again, it's called Keyboard Echo. It's available in Cydia for free. And the next tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called Faded. It's available in Cydia for free. And what this tweak does is as soon as you start to play music or you stop uh, playing music on your device, it's going to fade in and out as opposed to just stopping or starting. So I'll show you what I mean here. It's very subtle and you may not have even heard it, but when I started it, it faded in and when I stopped it, it faded out. So it's just a very nice you know, little thing being able to transition you in and out of music smoother than it would uh, normally happen in iOS. And again, it's very subtle, but it's a very nice effect and why not have it on your device? Once again, it's called Faded. It's available in Cydia for free and there's no settings to configure. 
And the fifth and final tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called NC Browser 8. It's available in Cydia for $2.99. And this tweak will, as the name suggests, bring a browser to Notification Center. So when you pull to Notification Center, you now have a third tab. Normally, of course, you have the Today tab and you have the Notifications tab. And as you can see, now we have this new tab titled Browser. And as you can see, it incorporates a full browser right inside Notification Center. So... I can see this being convenient if you're inside an application maybe and you want to quickly, you know, browse the web without even exiting the application. You could just quickly pull down, you know, type something into your uh, search bar up here. I'm going to go to YouTube.com. Sorry. I'm just trying to type behind the camera here. Um, and we'll just go as soon as I manage to type it in. I'll select go and as you can see it's just going to load it up as exactly you would expect it to now there have been tweaks in the past that have done things like this bring browsers to funny places however i gotta say this one is very fast and it works very well it just seems very reliable and not laggy and glitchy in the past a lot of them are glitchy or they have problems or they just don't work very well but this one is very very well um it just was very well optimized it works very well and if you're in here and you want to open up the link that you're currently on in Safari, you want to go all in, open up Safari, you select this little icon down here, this little compass icon, and it's going to bring you to this menu. And of course, you could copy the link or just open it in Safari. I'm going to go ahead and select open in Safari. And as you'd expect, as you can see, it's just going to load up Safari to whatever the link is that you're on. And let's just go back in Notification Center and we'll search something in YouTube. I, also, I just want to show you the speed, how good it is. As you can see, everything loads up just as fast as it would inside Safari. And let's just go ahead and type something in here. Ultimate iDevice vids. And I'll select search. And everything loads fast, as you can see right here. Very smooth, very nice. Just a really good browser notification center. And something else I want to point out is this little search button down here. If you select that, it will allow you to search Google from wherever you are. You don't have to go to google.com. You just select this button, and it'll bring you right here. You could type something in and just select go. In a little search Google, as you can see, just like that. Now, in the settings app, of course, there are things you can configure for the tweak. And let's just go into the NC browser settings. And as you can see in the settings, there's this nice gloss over uh, in the lettering there. Very nice, aesthetically appealing settings panel. And down here, of course, we have configuration, which we could go inside of and configure various things. As you can see, you could customize it to your liking and make sure you select Respring to apply all your changes. And then there's developers down here. You can view the developers of this tweak and, of course, support as well. Now, if you select this little Twitter icon, of course, it's going to bring up the Twitter sheet. But you could tweet out that you're using this tweak. So if you really like this tweak and you want to share it with the world, as you can see, you could get that preloaded tweet right there. Once again, it's NC Browser 8. It's available in Cydia for $2.99. It allows you to access your browser from anywhere very quickly right from the notification center. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and be sure to let me know down below in the comment section which one of these tweaks is your favorite. And I'll see you guys later.